Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned some of the filtering operators like take, take last, take while, etc. Today we are going to learn a new operator and the name of the operator is first. No points for guessing? Yes, that's exactly what this particular operator does. It will return us the first uh, source that is emitted, the first value that is emitted from the source observable. We'll learn about it. Let's get started. This is part 14 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Please make sure you go through all the um, episodes in the series so that you can learn and master all the operators with real time use cases. So today we are learning about operator number nine that is first. So what does the first operator do? Like I said, it will give the first value emitted by the source observable. Okay, so let's say you have the fixed, um, where is this useful? This is especially useful when you have certain uh, fixed values that you are expecting, like say number of categories or statuses, etc. And you want the first one always. So we can directly use the first um, operator. Right. So that's pretty straightforward uh, explanation. I don't think it's confusing. Uh, let's do some hands on uh, examples and see that in detail. All right. So we are continuing to build on uh, the search component that we created in the last episode. So if you have missed that, please do check it out. So for today, we'll keep it extremely simple. So first thing you need a fixed values. So I have an array here, right? Uh, you can have any values here. For now, I'm having a fixed set of values and we are making an observable out of this array using from operator. This we learned in the previous episode. So I hope this is clear this part. Now, when we say that we are subscribing to category observable, right? So it's an observable. That's why we are adding dollar sign in front of it. So whenever we are adding the observable and subscribing to it, we are saying, give me the first value. So it should return us the mobiles. Let's see that. So I have a um, subscription here. This is what we did in the last episode. So I'll comment this out. Now we'll just type first from RxJS operator and it would be once it is imported when you build it. Now when you log the data, this will return you mobiles. OK, that's the classic and simplest use case I can show you. So let's see that. OK, so when you start typing something, it will start showing you. I think we have. OK, so here we have mobiles that's coming up. So it's a fixed set of values that's coming because we said we want the first value and that's what it's written and that's what this operator basically does. It's pretty simple, straightforward, uh, nothing complicated, but very useful, especially when you're trying to when you know that the first value is what you want. You can always take the first operator. That's what will return you the value. Give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions. The next operator is last. No points for guessing and I'm sure you guys should be able to tell me what this operator does because if you know if you have learned first I'm sure you will be able to easily understand write your own code with last operator but that's for the next episode make sure you subscribe to my channel also if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode